Hey guys, what's going on? It is Greg, and uh, today is just gonna be a little bit of sharing Kels and I's travel with you. Uh, last week, we got to go visit some of our best friends uh, who a couple years ago, they moved to uh, North Carolina, and we got to go visit them, and we drank a bunch of coffee, ate a bunch of good food, and uh, I brought my camera along, and I kind of just shot some video of uh, where we were, where we were going. Not a lot of purpose behind it other than just to capture it and uh, to share with you guys some of our favorite spots that we discovered in the Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill, Hill area of North Carolina. So uh, we're gonna jump into that video now and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. So on the first morning we were there, we found this amazing spot called Bolted Bread, and they had some of the best pastries and breads that I've ever had in my life. We really, really enjoyed them. Um, it was really quiet. We were there on a, more, a weekday morning, and there wasn't a ton of people around, but man, that bread was delicious. There were samples. Um, highly suggest Bolted Bread right in Raleigh and then once we were done there we headed down into downtown Raleigh to check out a coffee shop uh, called Heirloom. Kelsey is getting our parking set up but we are in uh, North Carolina for the week. We are in Raleigh and so we are visiting some friends and they're working today so we decided to come do what we always do when we travel and that's try a bunch of different coffee shops so we had just stopped at a place called what was that called i don't know it's telling me she's still trying to figure out the parking bolted bread we just went to a place called bolted bread and had some amazing pastries and now we're going to get our first cup of coffee at a place called heirloom Heirloom was a super unique experience. They kind of specialize in, uh, they do both coffee, tea, and sake. And so they have like rice bowls and stuff that is not normal for a coffee shop. Um, I would say it was a good experience. Uh, probably wasn't my, my style of coffee shop. I felt like they put more time into the aesthetic of the place than they did into uh, the coffee, but uh, it was still very good. If you're in downtown Raleigh, I would suggest uh, checking it out. So after we went to Heirloom, uh, we decided to, there was another coffee shop nearby we wanted to check out, and this was Brew. Brew is a chain that has multiple locations in the Raleigh-Durham Chapel Hill area. In fact, our friend Laura used to work at one of these, and we went to their newest location, and it just opened a few months prior to us being there. So everything was beautiful and white and clean, and uh, kind of that's how we wrapped up the first night. Uh, we went and got ramen that night. Um, I didn't shoot any video. Really our dinners, I kind of did most of the video during the day when Kelsey and I were out exploring coffee shops and breakfast places and uh, I didn't, when Dan and Laura, our best friends, when they were available, I didn't bring the camera along and I didn't want to focus time documenting because it was really about spending time with them. So uh, the first night we went and got ramen at their favorite ramen spot, pretty close to where they live. I don't remember the name of it, but the ramen was absolutely excellent. If you are interested in getting the name of the place, leave a comment down below. I'll shoot them a text and uh, we'll get you that info. The next day, while Dan and Laura were off at work, Kelsey and I went to this place called Dom's Bagels. Dom's Bagel, sorry, Big Dom's Bagel Shop. I was, had to look at the video. Probably the coolest bagel shop I've ever been to is this tiny little spot um, that's beautifully decorated and uh, the bagels were just absolutely outstanding. I had a bagel breakfast sandwich that I absolutely loved. Um, they also do these bagel donuts. They're like these white powdered sugar like donuts, but they're made with bagel dough or something like that. I'm not really sure what they do, but they, it was very good. I would highly recommend Big Dom's Bagels. And then we went to, after that, we went and met back up with uh, Dan and Laura, and uh, we went to Laura's favorite coffee shop. It's called Jubla. Jubla, I think. Coffee shops have weird names. 
and this was probably the best coffee shop we've been to maybe not the best coffee uh, but the best shop and experience and uh, Laura got this beautiful specialty drink that kind of blew our minds I think when you, when you think about specialty drinks in the coffee industry it usually revolves around espresso and different kind of milk and espresso syrup type drinks but this specialty drink was made uh, using drip coffee and it was black coffee and it had this like lightly whipped cream that kind of cascaded down through it and it was beautiful presentation and the drink was absolutely delicious you had like this cold cream layer uh, with this hot coffee underneath and the contrast of that was just beautiful so I really 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 enjoyed uh, Jubala then after we were at Jubala we went and uh, again I didn't shoot any video for this <clears throat> but went to the best the absolute best barbecue place I've ever been to in my life. Now, I'm a little bit biased. I really like vinegar stuff, so I'm kind of predisposed to enjoy Carolina-style barbecue. Um, but we went to this place called Big Mike's. They have another location that's under a different name, but same owner. And uh, oh my goodness, it was insane. It was so good, and the experience was wonderful. We went in, the four of us, and the server knew instantly that we had never been there before and so her response was like oh i only have one order of burnt ends left and you guys are getting them since you've never been here before so we got these burnt ends and it kind of set the stage for the entire meal it was just outrageous like i would not go back to this area of north carolina and not go to big mike's and get those burnt ends and the brisket and everything all the sauce was so vinegary and delicious and oh man i love barbecue especially carolina style barbecue so if you go to north carolina make sure to get some good barbecue today is our last day in uh, north carolina it's sad we've been to a ton of great places and uh, today we took the drive up from Raleigh to Chapel Hill. It's about a half hour, beautiful drive. And uh, we're really excited to go to this coffee shop. It's probably the cutest looking shop, at least according to pictures of the shops we've been to. So it's called Perennial. It's just right down the street. We're gonna go check it out. So Perennial overall was pretty great. It was completely packed inside. So it was kind of hard to get the feel for it. Um, like for the hour that we spent there, it was just completely full and every time somebody got up, somebody was there to take another table, um, which is great. I applaud them for that. I think uh, it's wonderful that they've created a space and environment where people can hang out and do work and get stuff done. For a lot of their drinks, they use these fresh herbs and then they get a, a pestle and mortar and they uh, grind it all together. And that's kind of, they grind it into the espresso and rather than using a sugary syrup, that's how they get the flavor into the drinks. And so I really enjoyed that. I don't like super sugary drinks, but I saw them doing that and I decided to try uh, their rosemary latte and I would really liked it. I liked rosemary and it just added this nice floral flavor uh, onto the latte. And then after we went to Perennial, which Perennial was up in uh, Chapel Hill, which is about half an hour from Raleigh where we were staying. Um, we found out that we were pretty close to Duke, the big college. I guess it's not a very big college, but uh, it's pretty prestigious. And man, was that place beautiful. Like the Duke Chapel, that building, gorgeous. And then we were told we had to go check out the Duke Gardens or something like that. These amazing cool gardens that have every kind of plant you could ever imagine like walking through these bamboo forests in the middle of North Carolina was pretty astonishing I really really enjoyed Kelsey and I spent about an hour and a half walking around and just exploring the gardens and what they had to offer and uh, it was it was pretty magical if you go um, to Duke make sure to spend some time exploring the gardens there was this lady feeding these ducks and they were ducks from all around the world like beautiful crazy looking ducks that I had never seen before and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it and then on our drive back into Raleigh um, from Duke we stopped at one last coffee shop it was called Fount Coffee and Kitchen and I would say from a coffee um, shop 
look, aesthetic, experience. It was probably one of my favorites. Um, I had stuffed mushrooms when we were there. I was starving and I ordered some and they were outstanding and awesome. And that's not something I think I would normally order at a coffee shop or any coffee shop would have as an option, but I really, really enjoyed it. And the coffee was pretty decent. Um, out here in North Carolina, most people are serving counterculture. They're a big deal. They've done a lot for the coffee industry. And, uh, and so I've kind of, you know, I like it, but I also had a ton of it. So it didn't feel special, um, but definitely the experience at Fount was wonderful. And then the last coffee shop we went to at this trip was called Pine State Coffee. And this place was a trip. It almost felt like three bros decided to open up a store and they couldn't decide what to open up. And so they did a clothing store, a shoe store, a coffee shop and roastery and a bike repair store all in one. And it felt very eclectic and uh, maybe not sure what it was. And I was very skeptical when you walk in and uh, the coffee blew me away. I had a single origin Honduras. Um, they don't do any pour overs, but they happen to have it on drip, uh, a natural processed Honduran. And I don't think I've ever had a natural processed Honduran coffee before. And it was so like whiny and bourbony and beautiful and delicious and sweet. And it was roasted nice and light. I could taste the coffee and not the roast. All the things I love in coffee. Uh, and I know I'm a little biased towards natural processed coffee. That's, that's whole, for a whole nother conversation. Um, but it was this crazy contrast experience of walking into the shop and being like, oh, why did we drive here? Because it didn't seem like your typical hipster space. And then a coffee that was beautifully crafted, um, beautifully roasted and sourced and delicious. And so I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was great. I feel like I've used the word thoroughly a lot in this video for some reason. That's the word of this video. And then we ended the trip um, back in downtown Raleigh with Dan and Laura again and we had chicken and waffles because how else do you end a trip to the south than with chicken and waffles. Um, but it was a great week in North Carolina. I really, really am thankful for friends like Dan and Laura that let you crash at their place, that let, take you to explore their city. Um, they give you the freedom to do stuff on your own while they're at work, let they use their cars and all that kind of stuff, and then uh, willing to spend time with you when you're back. And so uh, thanks Dan and Laura for providing us a good vacation away and uh, so glad that we're friends. But if you like this type of video, if you want to see more of our travels, I actually have a ton of cool travel coming up soon. Uh, I leave in two days to go to Puerto Rico for a week, um, which is nuts. If you like this style of video, let me know. I can definitely do more of our travels and make some more videos of that. And uh, thanks for following along. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.